first quarter of the season already in the rearview mirror. And off we go in week five on EA Sports. And they're going to mark that where it went out of bounds. So really good starting field position up past the 40-yard line. Rodgers with a give. It's Aaron Jones. And he's across midfield and into Miami territory. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. Here's Rodgers. Steps away to his left. And he wisely will throw that one away. It's not like pressure to affect the accuracy and the timing of a guy trying to throw the football. And on that play, they ended up flushing him to his left, contacted him as he's trying to throw the football, and that led to the incompletion. An early test. Two plays in. This is third and two. From the gun, it's Rodgers. Buying time to his left. And this would complete to Will Fuller. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. Of course we think of Aaron Rodgers as a pocket passer, but you and I both know this guy's a pure athlete. He can get outside and make plays with his legs as well. I showed it right there outside of the pocket and on the money. A great play there. His fifth touchdown now on the year. And the Packers have taken the early lead. Santos with the extra point, and it's now a 7 0 game. will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Tug of Iloa and the Dolphins come up first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Here's the first carry from Matt Breda, and he'll work this forward for about three at second down. This defense for the Packers, they were terrific a week ago in that win over Detroit. I have to admit, I was extremely impressed by what I saw on tape because they stayed in the face of the quarterback the entire game, ended up getting four sacks total, and made it difficult for him to step up and find receivers downfield. Also made it hard for him to escape the pocket and run. On second and seven, Tua. And this is thrown to the sideline. No receiver in the area, though, and that's going to bring out a flag. In the pocket, chucked it away, flag comes down. So you got to move a little bit, right? Know where you are on the field, have some awareness. Tackle to tackle. you got to get outside of that tackle box in order to get that done. On third and long, it's Tugga by Loa. He is going to find Hill here. He's at the 30. 10. And all the way in for a Miami touchdown. Touchdowns now on the year. And the Dolphins are an extra point away from tying up this football game. Extra point up and good by Sanders. And that will tie our score here in this opening quarter of play. 
Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. A short kick taken at the 18. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you score points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. Someone sharp in this game. I mean, a touchdown pass on the first drive and comes right back, and he's flinging it around really well here. Really nice throw there to pick up the first down. You, you kind of just feel a laser focus and confidence about him, and I think we saw that this week, didn't we? Talking to him and the coaches, they felt good about his performance coming up. Yeah, I was really impressed with that last practice we saw when they went through two-minute drill, when they went through all the different situations. Ball hardly hit the ground, and I thought, yeah, he might be locked in for this one. Rodgers now on first down. Eluding the pressure right. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap, and he locked in on his target. But he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Throwing now is Rodgers. Being chased out left. Nothing open downfield, so he'll throw it away. Oh, I like that right there. Not only was it the right play, throwing it away like that, frankly, I think it was the only play. Yeah, got outside of the pocket, realized he had nothing, just chucked it free. Yeah, lived to fight another down, right? Toward the sideline, did he keep the feet in? Yes, he got them both down, says the side judge, and that's good enough for a first down. Had the offense humming on the first drive. Not much has changed here on drive number two. No, and I think a lot of the times confidence just really kicks in for a team. They may have been confident going into the game, but once you prove it on a drive, it's hard to get out of that mindset, isn't it? And look, let's face it. We can always lock in on the skill position, guys. But those big fellas up front, they're really making this offense go early in the game. He's going to launch this deep for Watson. And it is incomplete. Good positioning there downfield to break that one up. Well, they've got man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. Here's second and 10 now from about the 32. Rodgers again now. Dancing to his left. A throw complete to the tight end, Tunyon. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. Rodgers now to throw. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the eight-yard line. I know this may be jumping the gun a little bit, but 7-7, seven to seven, they're flinging it around like crazy. Look at the drive that's going on here. Partner, we may have to start thinking about one of these defenses just holding someone to a field goal and maybe trying to get advantage that way. And he will get this into the end zone. Touchdown, Green Bay. Aaron Jones, his fifth touchdown now on the year. And the Packers have taken the lead. Santos now to add the PAT. It's up and good, and it's 14-7 now here in the first quarter. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Here comes the return from the very back of the end zone. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. 
And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Tua sets up to pass it. That's complete to Mostert out of the backfield. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Well, he was a busy man out of the backfield a week ago. They got the ball early and often. I have no doubt in my mind that he'll be a big part of the game plan here as well. Two are going to tap this forward on the jet sweep. And down he goes at the 49, a three-yard pickup. A nice play design there with the touch pass. Looked good at the start, but bottom line, the defense was ready. And they did a nice job scouting, didn't they? Not just scouting, but now executing once they saw the play for real after having worked on it all week in practice. They drilled on the play, then they drilled him. Now he's going to swing this one out to his running back. Well, he is out of bounds inside the 35. We can talk all we want about football being a game of strength and brawn. It's also a game of mismatches, and they're trying to create one there, getting it to their back out of the backfield to make a bigger play. As we often say, get it to him in space, let him use his leg. Yeah, if, if he can get a matchup against a linebacker or maybe a defensive end dropping out in a zone blitz, he's going to win that battle just about every time. And he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here, second down. The last run got a couple here, second and eight. Tua going to throw. He'll buy some time right. Oh, this is intercepted, intended for Hill. Picked off near the 29. And the return will be stopped at the 34-yard line. And Charles, that's now four interceptions over his last three halves of football, because remember, he threw three picks last week. Starting to wonder if maybe defenses and those coordinators have identified something on tape with what he's doing, maybe a movement, maybe the way he's moving his shoulders. Who knows what it could be? He could have a few tells out there that they're keying in on and allowing defenses to get to the football a little bit faster. People steal signals. Maybe sometimes they can figure out what the quarterback's doing just by his movements. To throw on second and 10. Rodgers setting up the screen here. Aaron Jones. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. The Packers on third down. A perfect three for three as they look to keep that streak going. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. And that's going to be caught. It's Rico Gafford. And he is going to have a Packers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. And again, it's Rodgers. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked up by Keon Crossing. And the Dolphins are going to have the football here at their own 35-yard line. So this is something we didn't see at all from this offense in the victory last week. That's a turnover. They didn't have any, but giving the ball away here in the opening quarter. I love the surprise in your voice because it's exactly what you stated. Didn't see it last week, but it was a key to their win. And it'll be a key to this game as well, protecting the football. Didn't get it done there. And not a lot of daylight, not really any daylight inside as he's going to be stopped right at the line of scrimmage. Brings up second down. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. tries to force it in and it's intercepted picked Ready? up by jonathan jones and into the end zone it's a pick six and a packer touchdown it goes without saying but 
I'm going to say it anyway. That's a ball he would like to have back, and it lands right in the lap of the defender from there. He doesn't have very far to go before he gets to the end zone, and he got there in a hurry. Santos able to tack on the extra point, and it's now 21-7. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. They're sort of seeing themselves spiral out of control. Let's see if they can get things back on track. And this is where the coach is walking that line of being calm and really being firm with his team. Add one tell me once, you know, when we're having a tough patch, this two shall pass, this two shall pass, and finally we kept having a rough patch. He said, but you got to do something <laughs> up. to make it pass. And that's what they have to do. They've got to get some control back, get themselves reasserted, and calm things down. See if they can get calm and reassert themselves here. They're going deep for Hill. And that will be incomplete. Trying to dial up the long way way out there, but it'll be third down. The scoreboard tells the story for him a little bit bleak, and while it's not quite desperation time yet, it's definitely getting close, but the defense reads the scoreboard as well. They're going to back up and make them really earn it. He'll drop this one down to Cohen, and he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. When you're struggling on the offense, you're looking for anything possible to get you going. Sometimes you do it like basketball teams that don't normally press. You put a press on, bring people to life, make them move a little bit quicker. Maybe that'll help them as they head towards the half. Gets it to Hill. It's a jet sweep. A gain of three, second down. Let's just make this one succinct. Nice job there. All 11 guys on defense diagnosing the jet sweep and putting it down. And he'll only get a yard, maybe two, up to the 46. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. A reminder, coming up at halftime, we'll send you up to Orlando. Jonathan Coachman is there, and he'll have stats and scores from a busy Sunday in the NFL. He'll get this into the hands of Mostert. And he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. Well, these guys have definitely been outplayed in the first half, but I like their countenance. I like the way that they haven't panicked out there, the way they're carrying themselves. They're starting to move the ball, and what you have to do, maintain your poise and start to put together some drives. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Now Tua just going to bat this forward on the end around. And he'll be out of bounds, able to get it down to the 25 there. And a lot of times, these plays, they either go for nothing or they go for big yardage. And here, they got to the outside, turned it upfield, and ended up getting a nice little gain out of it. Three yards remain for second down. Now a give to Breda. He'll have a first down inside the 10. And he'll take this into the end zone for the first touchdown on the year. And the Dolphins able to get this back within a touchdown. Sanders now to add the extra point. It's up and good. This becomes a 21-14 ball game now. Now after the 
Touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. Here's Chris Claybrooks to return. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. And following the interception, we'll see what they can put together on this drive. I can hear my old college coach right now. He always used to tell us before every game, the team making the fewest mistakes will win. What they're hoping is that that last mistake is their only one of the game. Coaches, that's all they talk about, turnovers, right? <laughs> Minimizing those and maximizing opportunities. On second down. It's Jones, and he'll go down right around the 47 this time. That's a nice run right there, able to get to the outside, and so many times defenses say, okay, we've got you hemmed in. But if you're running the football, at least you know where everyone is coming from. You don't have to worry about the backside at all. That allows you to run with a little bit more confidence as you traverse down the field. Throwing on first down is Rodgers. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And that'll be good for eight yards to the 45. The Packers gonna use one of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 34 seconds to go before halftime. Only needing two yards on second down. Now Rodgers. He's got the first down here inside the 30. And he'll finally be taken down at the 18. So many times in my career I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing. But as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. And now we'll get a late timeout as it comes in the waning moments of quarter number two. So even though it's first down, here's the field goal unit on now to try to get three before halftime. From the right hash, it's a 35-yard attempt. Santos' kick is up and through, and that will push the lead up to double digits now at 10. So that one on target, and it adds to this first half lead. And maybe we're too early to worry too much about one score lead, two score lead, et cetera. But this is where you kind of start banking those points that come in helpful later on. So barring a touchback, this likely the final act of the half as the kick is away. And a short kick taken at about the 16. And he'll be out of bounds here, a yard shy of the 25 of the 24. So we've come to halftime here with the visiting Packers out on top. As we go up to Orlando now and hand it over to Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Coach. So it's the Packers set to receive the kick. They've got the lead as well as we are underway in the third quarter. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. And right out of the gate, they face what you think could be a pretty important drive. I would say so. You know, Packer pressure, and down he goes. They'll wind up losing eight on the sack there, and it's second down. I'd say it's not panic time yet, but let's be honest about it. Empty possession here, not what you're looking for when you're down a couple of scores. Absolutely not. Trying to start the second half off on the right foot. Unfortunately, going to give the ball up. Two are going to tap this forward on the jet sweep. And he gets it here to right around the 24 before he's out of bounds. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Here's Tongue of Iloa to throw. 
Able to find Isabella. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. That's a play that'll likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And if points result, we'll call this play significant. On first down, here's Breida. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. They run out of the shotgun with Moster. Only a yard on the pickup, so a good situation on second and two. It's now third and one. I haven't met a defense coordinator yet that thinks second and two is a fun situation to try and defend. Playbook is wide open for an offense, partner. Nice job. Hold him to one after that eight-yard pickup on first down. Yeah, they'll let their fullback try and push the pile. He's not going to get there. That won't even be close. It was blown up in the backfield. That'll make it fourth down after a loss of one. Tug of Iloa going for it on fourth down. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Little. And he will have the first down as he's brought down up near midfield. And the defense bit hard there. They were thinking run all the way, play fake, working to perfection on fourth down. And it was able to work because of the down and distance situation. Fourth and short, you've got to respect the run. You show a little play action. Oftentimes you find people open for what you need, and that's exactly what they got done there. And he'll go down inside the 45 before going out of bounds. So the completion good for seven there. And it'll bring up a second down. Back to the running game with Moster. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive, and once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. A first carry now for Kofrani Muhammad. Call it no gain that time, and they're going to be left looking up at a fourth and one. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. And he gets it to the 34. Good enough for the first. I don't care what he's listed in the program. Fullback, running back, tailback, it doesn't matter. He ran that play like a fullback. Just like the old days when we saw the fullback dive. How about him picking that one up? Only well, needed a yard on fourth down. That's what he's there for, right? Exactly. Line him up, short yardage situation, and say, here it is, big man. Go get it. And they're going to get him behind the line yet again as his nightmare afternoon continues. Now on second and 16, Tua will get this into the hands of Burita. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 45-yard line. It'll be a loss of six yards on the play. And they're going to be staring at a third and long here. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we've played three quarters. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Throwing now is Tungabailoa. And it's going to be incomplete. He was able to catch it there on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. And it's going to bring up fourth down. 
And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter. Let's see how this plays out. They're going for it. Here's Tua with it. Rolling to his right. They're going deep for Hill. And all the way in for a second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Dolphins have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. Extra point up and good by Sanders. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. A short kick taken at the 18. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. They've been asleep for a little while on this side of the football, Charles, and the score is just a one-score game now. Haven't had any points this half. What gives? The, the Dolphins get there this time, and they bring him down. Back quite a ways here, facing second and 19. Another try after the first down sack. Rodgers, that's into the hands of Gafford, complete. It'll be a pickup of 15 as that'll lead to third down. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it. So it's not that big of a deal to me. And I'm going to keep firing. And he's got the first down yardage before he's brought down at the 42. And that pickup of a first down... That's going to leave a mark because they really needed to stop them there, didn't they? Oh, so frustrating. Defensively, you're a play away from getting that football back here down late. Tough. Now they've got to find a way to create a turnover or takeaway. Otherwise, this one will probably get away from them. Escaping the pressure right. Now he's going to throw deep right side. And it'll be incomplete. Good job staying with him defensively. And it'll bring up second down. I think that was good strategy there, trying to go right back to him after the last completion. But this time, the defense was all over him, and they got there to break that one up. Back to the air on second down. It's Rodgers. Forced out to his left. He hits his target. Left side, Watson. And they'll work this down to the 40-yard line. Tackled there. Well, that should be a reminder defensively, and I think it's a reminder to myself because... You just can't sell out to stop the run. There's still enough time that this offense can move the football through the air, even on first and second downs. And they obviously picked the right spot to throw the ball there. Rodgers' throw complete here on target to Tunyon. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And it'll be second and very short. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. So first and 10 now from the 30. Jones. And some room to work. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. I have to chuckle to myself a little bit, Brandon, because right now I could be in that huddle with that offensive line. I know exactly what they're saying. If you call a pass play here, we're going to call a timeout. Run the football. <laughs> We've got control of this thing. Get in behind us and let's go. Their time to shine. And he's left with no option here but to throw it away. Come on now. Let's do so it's Packer football here as we welcome you back. They face a second down, but they are in field goal range. And this is caught. 
And that could seal it. It's a touchdown. Well, that was absolutely ideal for them, wasn't it? Trying to salt this game away. I think one of my kids just graduated in the amount of time they had the football. That was absolutely impressive. Everybody wants those salt away the game drives. What makes them successful? Well, when you're able to mix run pass, when you're able to control the football and stay ahead of the chains, I'm using every cliche I know, <laughs> but that's how you get it done because you're not taking negative plays, and that way you're able to run what you want to run when you get a chance to call it. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And that last drive, so effective in the passing game, resulting in the touchdown. Maybe not many people were focused on the trenches. There was good protection there. Excellent protection. So now defensively, you've almost got to get down to those starters blocks like you're a sprinter. Get lower than those guys on offense and find a way to roar through them or around them to get into the face of the pass. Easier said than done, though. Way easier <laughs> said than done. But they've got to try something because right now they're just cutting them to shreds. So following the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 25. Tongue of Iloa. Into the secondary, past the 40. As we get this one up to the 44-yard line. Well, there's your leading receiver in the NFL in terms of yardage, putting on another clinic well over 100 yards. Are we taking notes? We should be, right? Because I'm going to go back and watch this tape and really enjoy what I'm seeing. The route running, competing for the football, just breaking down a defense. just get rid of it. Whew, that's certainly not the worst thing. It stops the clock and lets your offense catch its breath and lets us exhale a little bit. Now I expect them to call a couple plays in the huddle so they're ready if a tackle happens inbounds. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Mike, Mike, check, check. 59, 59. Tua. And he'll get this into the hands of Hill, complete. And he takes it down deep into enemy territory. It's a big play there for Miami. Pretty good yards after the catch there on that crossing route. Is a crossing route good for a quarterback because the receiver's coming across his line of vision? They love those kind of throws. And how many times have you seen any of what we call an in-breaking route? Quarterback really turns it loose, doesn't he? Has a lot more confidence because he can see the play right in front of him. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with just under 30 seconds left to go. And they'll turn to the power game to try to get in. Give him right around four on the carry. We'll see if they want to keep pounding here on third and goal. The Dolphins going to take their second timeout as the clock stops with 23 seconds to go in the game. A lot of tired bodies on that field, but this is a big play, third and goal. And again, they'll go right back to their fullback. Well, they hit him in the backfield, and he will not escape. And that is not going to get it done. That'll back him up two yards and also bring up fourth. Now the Dolphins will use the last of their timeouts as they get it with 16 seconds remaining on the clock. The field goal doesn't help. They're going to go for the six here on fourth and goal. Now to him. And it's caught. He's got it for a late touchdown. Probably a little too late. It would take a miracle of epic proportions if they're going to pull this one off. Coming from where they were, they knew this was going to be tough, but they got the touchdown. Now they need the miracle, the onside kick, and a little extra. Yeah, and you have to get the onside kick and not have the ball bounce around a lot and eat up time. You want to be able to grab it, possess it, and get your offense out there for what you just termed a miracle last chance. 
this is recovered by the Packers. So that might just about do it. They had to go for it with no timeouts remaining, though, now. This one's as good as over. They gave it an effort. They tried their best, did everything they could to try and get the ball on the onside kick. You're exactly right. They had to try it. It was their only option. And now this game is done. Just take it, kneel, and call it a day. And this one complete to Gafford. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. So it's all over. A Green Bay victory. And I tell you, this was a fun one. Just a close game. Nothing comes easy in this league, as you know. They had to work for that victory. I've got to go back to what you just said. Nothing comes easy in this league. How many times have we talked to coaches prior to a game and assessed, you know, the strengths, the weaknesses, the whole deal? Even in games when one coach was a decided favorite, what do they always say to us? But you do know, this is really a seven-point league. Seven points either way usually decides a ball game. We had exactly that in this one. And not only that, but this is a gutsy road victory, one they can hang their hat on. So for the Packers, they improved to 5-0 now on the young season. And they'll head back home next week to take on the Dallas Cowboys. Meanwhile, for the Dolphins, the loss will move them back to 3-2 on the year. And they'll be at home next week for a date with the Arizona Cardinals. That'll do it for us. I'm Brandon Gordon, alongside Charles Davis. Thanks to our entire crew as well. We'll talk to you next time. So long, everybody.